foliage to start, and that's going to go down the bottom here, yeah? Now, remembering your two-thirds, one-third ratio, if you work out like a half of your two-thirds is going to be, then you know how long your end bit should be, yeah? So you're best to start with these two points here, so that you've got the size of your spray correct, yeah? Then you don't really want to go too far out because you're going to be doing like a nice sort of like a teardrop thing. So you don't want your next piece to be anything that's coming out too far like that because that's going to end up more of like a diamond shape. So you want to keep these pieces quite neat and tidy to the size, to along the side of the spray, yeah? So what I'm doing is just doing all the outside foliage first because the inside foliage you sort of want to do as you put your flowers in because you don't want to overcrowd it because it's not a large area for putting um, the flowers in. So you want to make sure you, you've got as much space as possible for your flowers. Right, so this is basically going to be the outline of your shape. So you're coming round in a circle down to a point. Yeah? Just a couple of bits of foliage in the centre to get you started. Not more than sort of about three because, like I said, you can fill in with foliage after. It's important to leave yourself as much space as possible when doing the design. Now, you're going to start, obviously, with like your focal flower, which is going to be something, you know, it's your heaviest flower, so something like your rose. And similar to what you've done with the other designs here, you're going to be doing sort of three of them as your main, your main sort of shape, yeah? Then you do need to get your point, your point in down here. So using a slightly smaller flower, so something like your spray carnation or your lisianthus, the Lysianthus will be good to get like the buds for the point. But this Do goes one. underneath. No, no, that's okay. The spray color should be fine. That goes underneath the rose to your point. And then you're going to do the same at the back using the carnations here. So now you've got the length of your spray. So you now know that nothing can come past there, yeah? It's always good to try to to find your sides as well. Before you start putting lots of flowers in the centre, if you define your shape by using just some nice sort of bud sort of flowers, then you give yourself a sort of guideline in which you're allowed to work around. So as you can see there, just putting a few of them in, I know now that I'm not allowed to go past that point when I'm using any of the other flowers. Okay, so that's the sides all done. Then you're going to fill in the inside, the same as what you have been doing with like the poser pad, the reef, that sort of thing. It's to your discretion you're going to use your filler flowers. So you use as much or as little as what you think. Remember to use your um, colour to make sure you follow it through. So if you're going to use purple here, make sure that you are leaving yourself enough stems and everything to make sure that it follows through the whole design, yeah? Get some wax flour to make sure you get a nice point on it. And then if you're looking for that distinctive use of materials again, and I keep repeating it on every item you make, but this is a perfect example to do like a token flower at the bottom again. So like what we did on the roof. And then you can always use like your bare grass to link the two together. Yeah, so the spray is similar principles to what you've been doing, but you're just doing a different shape. So make sure that you come to a point and that you end up with a nice sort of circular shape coming down. Yeah? Is everyone clear on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah?